Hi, Theater Mania. I'm Julie White. Even though with my new haircut, I look a little like Justin Bieber, yeah? Uh, we're here talking about Airline Highway. Come on, see it. You know, the reaction in Chicago, people got pretty emotional, actually, because I think that, you know, it's, it's a funeral for a mother figure. And so I, I think that you're watching this world, but you may be thinking about people that you've lost in your own family. Um, there's also a lot of characters who are kind of living on the edge, struggling with addiction issues or issues of money. And, you know, everyone, almost everyone, has someone in their life that has struggled with that or is struggling with that. So it can, it's, I think it's really funny and there's a lot of singing and dancing, but it can bring you to a little bit of a, a raw place when you see it. Ms. Ruby is, had a strip club in New Orleans, and she loved it, loved it, loved it, and then she had all her wonderful, wonderful people around her. They're giving her a funeral, giving her a funeral before she dies. Not a bad idea, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> right? And I play uh, Sissy Nana, who's a, transvestite, boy, girl, just his own creation. And um, I live at the motel and I'm helping plan, throw this party for Miss Ruby uh, on this wonderful day. Yeah, well, I play Terry. He's a, uh, a handyman of sorts. Um, and he travels around with his toolbox and he you know, hustles and that's how he makes his living. But he's a part of that clan, that wonderful clan of misfits that always sort of congregate over at the Hummingbird Motel. And I'm Krista. I am a former resident of the Hummingbird Hotel, sort of in in transition now. <laughs> um, I am a stripper at a strip club called Babes, which is a real place in the French Quarter. Uh, you can look up the reviews on Yelp, and it gives you a pretty good idea of what her lifestyle is. I have a kind of maternal role. I think I'm kind of the mom of this strange family. And I'm noticing, as we're starting to rehearse, the the, the like action of the play is that we're throwing a party. And I am really all about party planning. I'm all about like, I think I'm gonna have a binder with all my party notes in it. Like, you know, you may be a drug addicted hooker, but you want this party to be good. But she is a person who has like a very deep well of sadness. And the, she's mainly trying to stay out of it. And she's got a little, uh, a little drug problem. And I think she tries, like every day she's gonna wake up and it's gonna be, this is the day that I just have one. And that's, a, as, as we all know from watching Nurse Jackie, you can't just take one oxy. You're gonna end up taking 30 of those bad boys. I think it takes a second to process this play. Yeah, I think you come out feeling like really vulnerable and like you went through something big with these people and you went on the journey with them and it's also really funny. Um, it's a really good night of theater.